So for my next hyperbola, I'm going to um, do the one on figure 197. There's my book. And I will share my screen. Okay, so for this one, we're going to have an inclined slope that we're going to be working on. And we'll stick it through there, uh, point A, and we will, um, uh, let's give it a definite angle here. So let's make that pi by three. Now we're going to have a specific triangle a point sliding along this slope and a couple of uh, links attached but these are all rigidly attached so the angle between here is going to be rigid um, alpha and the angle between these two are going to be rigid call that beta Um, position that we'll, let's stick a point at the origin. We're going to need a fixed point there, and we should make sure that point A is also fixed. Uh, so we can do that by specifying the distance between the two. So now B is going to slide up and down. These lengths are kind of immaterial. So, um, because what we're going to do is we're going to put a point at a specific distance out here and then we're going to create another line which goes and let's, let's make it an infinite line that goes through F and E and then the point of interest is going to be the point that we're going to trace going to be the intersection between those two lines. So as B goes down here, um, this is what's going to happen. So let's uh, parameterize the location of B um, by T and then have a look at the, um, the curve traced out by G, sorry, there we go. As T varies. Um, and so that's the curve that we're looking at. Uh, we don't really have enough of it, so we can change the the um, limits on T, maybe take it to minus six, say. And on the positive side, take it up to maybe 10. And then we can uh, we can watch it do its thing as as T varies. Now I notice the dotted line there. We're, we're um, we really have we're assuming that this uh, link is actually extending a bit. So let's have a look at the um, equation of that curve. Um, is it in fact a hyperbola? Actually, it may be, but I have, um, if this is entirely accidental, because I did not specify this distance here um, that needs to be specified um, and in fact that looks a lot more like a hyperbola <laughs> um, so let's cancel that computation what we had was some peculiar curve um, let's just watch it do the the, the proper tracing now um, that's good. 
So let's again ask for the collision. Now, um, we do have a, a number of parameters in here. We've got our A, our B, our alpha, and our beta. And so it'll take a little bit of time to compute this. Um, JX Web will, will, will stop computing after about a minute. Um, so we may have um, stretched it a bit. You can use geometry expressions if you uh, need to do um, uh, an example which, which needs a bit more computation. Um, now I'll, I'll wait for a little bit and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, uh, simplify the model. In fact, perhaps now it's timed out, there we go. Uh, let's simplify the model. Um, let's put specific numbers in for it's so a pi by three there instead of alpha, and I'll put pi by three in here instead of beta. So we have specific numbers in um, in here, which should make the equation considerably more straightforward um, and easier for uh, uh, for GX Web to uh, to compute in there. Uh, with the pi by threes everywhere, we're seeing um, uh, an equation which is clearly a hyperbola and um, the question for you would be to uh, um, where are the asymptotes of that uh, hyperbola and um, uh, if you like where are the foci, where's the axis of symmetry and so forth. Uh, something you can do from the algebra. Um, let's just have a look at another example. What if we turned this from pi by 3 to pi by 2, for example? Now, I've now got somewhat different uh, hyperbola or curve. We haven't shown it's a hyperbola as yet. Um, Somewhat different, a little bit more complex, and um, yeah, maybe a bit more of a challenge to uh, work out um, what the um, what the axis of symmetry is, what um, what the asymptotes are. What if we simplified things by making b the same as a? Or, yeah, this gives us an interesting. Uh, interesting look to the curve. In fact, it looks like we're getting um, two branches of the hyperbola uh, showing up um, that one. And uh, let's just see what the equation is going to look like. Uh, well, of course, it's just stuck a equal b into this into this equation. Um, so the, this this gives us one where we can uh, we can play with the um, the angles, choosing specific angles and getting out um, uh, manageable equations, which would give us a, a chance to um, challenge our algebra for finding the characteristics of the uh, of the parabola, or parabola of the hyperbola.